Today we're going to be taking a look at the layer dimensionality plugin in Vegas Pro 12. Now just to note, this plugin only is available in Vegas Pro 12 and not in any previous versions of Vegas Pro such as 11, 10, or 9. So let's get on to this tutorial. Now what I like about the layer dimensionality tool is that it provides both depth and perspective to any object in Vegas Pro 12. So by object I mean video, images, and even text. But in this tutorial, we're going to be primarily focusing on how we can use the layer dimensionality plugin to kind of add more 3D depth sort of look to our text instead of our images, as you can see an example right here. So to find the plugin, go to your video effects tab, go down to layer dimensionality, and you can see you already have a list of already um, presets for the layer dimensionality plugin. But I'm just going to use the default preset to kind of walk you guys through on what some of the tools in the preset does. So let's get the default plugin and apply it to our text. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the shadow. Now before we actually go on to any of the options, you want to make sure that your text is not any one of these two colors, which is black and white. So in order for this plugin to actually look really nice, you want to make sure that you're not using black or white and preferably use a color that is bright and um, solid. So the first option is the shadow. Now there's two types of shadow. You have drop and inner. So if you select drop, what it's going to do is generate a shadow created by the text depending on the light source. And as you can see this little plus sign is the light source. So if you move it around, you're also going to notice that the shadow moves around according to the light. Now the shadow projects onto whatever's below the text video track. So as you can see here I have a white solid and the shadow generated by the text is projecting onto the solid white background. Now if you increase the height of the shadow you're gonna kind of increase the distance between the shadow and the text and um, if you wanna kind of tone down the shadows you can use the next two options which are blur and opacity and increase the blur and opacity or actually increase the blur and toned down on the opacity to make it look like the, the uh, shadow is uh, toned down more. Now the next type of shadow is the inner shadow and this is my favorite option because if you look here, let me set all these options back to default, if you look here it sort of kind of creates a uh, cutout effect of the text as you can see here there's sort of like a extra depth into the text um, but if you increase the height, as you can see, the um, shadow is increasing on the sides, uh, of course, depending on the source light, and it's kind of looking too much, um, and as you can see, the shadow is kind of ruining the effect if you increase it a lot. So you want to make sure that when you set your type to inner, uh, the height should never go above 1.5. And again, if you want to tone down the shadows that are around the edges, you can always increase the blur and turn down the opacity. Now onto the glow option. You have four types of glow. You have outer, inner, edge, and dual. Now if you select the outer one and you turn the amount all the way up, you can see that there's a soft glow behind the text. And it's going to start from the uh, very edge of the text and kind of fade out away and um, it's not really that apparent so you're going to have to increase the amount all the way in order to kind of faintly see the actual color. Now if you set it to inner the glow of course is going to go inwards and usually if you set the amount all the way up uh, for the glow type inner then it's going to entirely change the color of the um, text. So before it was um, red or violet and if you increase the amount all the way, whatever color of the glow is going to be the color of the text. So you want to make sure that the amount is set somewhere around halfway or um, in between halfway from start to the middle. Next, go to Edge. And this, of course, uh, makes the edge of your text glow. And just like the first option for outer, um, it's going to slowly fade away so you can't really see it that well. Um, but you can see it better because uh, the 
glow kind of goes over the text as well. Now last you have dual which allows you to use two different colors for the actual glow and I usually don't like using this option because you can't really see uh, both colors and it's just like the first option since it's outer the colors are going to be really faint and it's kind of hard to differentiate between the two colors as you can see in this example right here. Now the last option of the layer dimensionality tool is the emboss and as you can see you can't really change out some of the settings in emboss because they're grayed out so what we need to do is increase or either decrease the foreground which is the top setting right here so if I decrease it you'll notice that the grayed out um, settings are now fully functional so you want to make sure you either set the foreground um, decrease it or increase it and never set it to zero because if you set it to zero then you can't use these options so I'm going to increase the foreground and I can't really explain what this exactly does but it kind of looks like it's adding a little more depth um, to the text if you increase it and you're going to notice that this little silvery white kind of texture kind of expands over the text now if I increase the background it's going to kind of look like it's um, creating a shape on the background which is the white solid so um, if I decrease it it's going to create a cutout of the text and kind of make it look like the text is pushing into the background now light intensity of course is the amount of light that's going um, from the light source onto the text light ambience is how much the light spreads out among the text and roundness of course is going to add um, more depth around the edges of your text and shininess adds more of that silvery silvery texture to your text and of course if you increase the shininess it's going to kind of uh, negate the background option that we set down earlier. Now the very last option we're talking about is light location and this is the basically the um, plus sign we saw earlier. Um, can either control it in the plugin itself or directly on the video preview and your shadows really depend on where the light is placed. So I'm going to go ahead and set the shadow type to drop and as you can see the light source is coming from the um, top left hand corner and is projecting down onto the text and this is where the shadow is now let's say you want the shadow to be somewhere up here so I'm gonna get the light source and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down to the opposite corner and that's how you move the shadow around using the light location so I hope you guys like this tutorial uh, I tried to explain the plugin as much as I could. I didn't really explain too much for the emboss uh, settings. So if you have any questions, I'll try to explain it as best as I can. And I will see you guys next time.